The ACT government currently manages 320 hectares of playing fields, which is divided into two areas of about 160 hectares each. These fields will range from a low maintenance base field to your major district playing fields, which can range from, say, 4 hectares through to 12 hectares. And then after that, we also have some of um, more high profile ones, which are the enclosed grounds. You name the sport, it's pretty well played here. Most of our fields are actually open, so, yep, they can be used by everyone. Uh, when it becomes a major event, that's when people have to book, so that way they can guarantee their access to the fields. Uh, some of our highest used fields is one just up the road from here, called the Dixon Playing Fields. It can be used up to 45 hours a week, and that is just for training and match play. We've also got a school base next door to it, so they use it during the week to have their fun. So between trying to get in there to mow, irrigate and everything else, it's quite a challenge looking after that place. One of our biggest troubles that we have in Canberra is actually going from the temperature ranges that we have. Uh, in previous years we have gone down as low as minus 10 and we can go up to 45, 46 degrees. We have got some full cooch services and that has been put into places which is some of base sports only, like the softball centre and the baseball centre. A lot of our other sites, uh, we might have a cooch underlay or it could be just a straight uh, uh, cool scissors grass that we've placed down. One of our major pests is the um, scarab grub. The last week of December and finished in about the last week of March because that's when we found we have the major scarab season for us in Canberra. We well, was contacted by NewTurf and all of a sudden they said, we've got this new chemical coming in, you've got to come in and hear about it. And we sat down and we just looked at it and we went, this is amazing. We were just totally blown away that here we are, we've got something that's got a poison schedule of zero. And they're saying that it does all these different things. We're just going, well, let's hope it does half of it. And we said we'd give it a trial. We managed 320 hectares. We actually trialled it on 50 hectares. We went in at the minimum rate of 750 mils per hectare. We applied it in the December and had no attack for the whole of the season. And that was fine. We, of course, we went, look, it is a new chemical. We're only trialling it. We went, did the rest of the season for that year on merit. That was fine. Year after, no, whole lot was done by Sullivan. How am I going to prove that we got scarabs here? It actually worked out really well. Uh, one of our other playing fields, um, there was a grass bank in between the two playing fields. We didn't treat it, it got destroyed. As you can see here, Bill, this is an area which is what used to be typical of our scarab damage that used to happen across all our ovals. Now that we've been using settlement, we just don't get this anymore. As you can see, we've gone through and we've done the boom spray of the rest of the playing field over there, and we've actually skipped this strip just that we're actually using land cruisers with six metre booms. Yep. Here's a good example of scarab damage. What happens? Scarabs are in the ground, magpies come down and they rip it out. This is what happens when you get areas that haven't been treated. Out here, we've got a treated area. It's fine, it's perfect. It is worth the money and it, it does a fantastic job. So we went through from started on the first week of December last season through to the last week of January, one night a week and covered every oval across Canberra. Health and safety in any government job is of major importance. When we're using uh, Merit, have to put notifications into the paper a week in advance to give the locals uh, acknowledgement that, look, this is what's going on, and they could actually turn around and go, no, we can't have you spraying that. So then we'd have to look at other methods of how to treat it. Um, so that would mean sign postage going up, if we were allowed to spray, and even then, the ovals weren't allowed to be accessed till 4.30 that afternoon. Now, of course our ovals quite often are booked from 6am or they're fully open. The average person, they look at the sign and go, eh, who cares, and they just wander across and we're just kept on going, what are we doing here? And then they'll, with excitement being scheduled zero, we didn't have to worry about it. It's presented beautifully. It's also the fact that like, we haven't had the scarab damage, so we haven't had to go through and top dress it or anything. It's always been safe. It made our life so much easier. Just also the other fact of what the ovals can be reopened at whenever they want to. We were applying, watering it. Finest, there was no smell, it was easy to mix. It's great.